All right, I think this is about the closest I'm gonna to get to a sunrise. It's been uh, real cloudy, it's been raining a little. I left the Airbnb around seven, and it is 8.07 Eastern time. In a few minutes, I'm gonna be in Central time, but I'm still in Eastern in Indiana for right now, getting close to the Illinois border though. And I'll uh, see you when I stop for gas in uh, an hour or two. Way too windy outside to film, just like it was the case around here, this part of the country last trip. Uh, I will tell you, Around this part of the country in December, I had a slice of pizza in three different states in the same day. So I showed you when I had a slice of Casey's pizza. Let's flash it back for a second. After this stop for pizza at Casey's, which has amazing pizza for a restaurant that's attached to a gas station, I will tell you the time that police tried to uh, steal money from me and I outsmarted them. Here we go, breakfast pizza from Casey's. And that day, I knew I was going to finish in Toledo, and I knew I was going to go to Pizza Cat, which is, uh, they went there on an episode of Tasting America, this food review show my brother really likes. So I knew I was going there at the end of the day. I didn't put that on camera. I did take some pictures and put them on Twitter. They're uh, pinned at the top of my timeline right now. I'll keep them there for about a week. Uh, so when I stopped in the middle of that day in Indiana at a travel plaza that happened to have a 7-Eleven that happened to have pizza, I thought that would be awesome. Three slices in three states in the same day. Uh, I don't keep track of that, but I can't imagine I ever pulled off four, so, or even three. So three is now the record, and one day I will go for four and uh, break the record. Actually, today would have been a chance to do it. Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, and then Omaha, Nebraska, but I'm not, so. Uh, I don't have a lot of days, actually, where I'm in four different states, so maybe road trip at the end of the year near the holidays, or maybe in the middle, going to spring training games or Windstar or something like that. I'll keep it in mind. So, uh, December 16th, I think it was, last year, I had pizza in three different states in the same day. All right, I think I got about 25 miles until I get to the Iowa... Illinois border. I'm almost done with Illinois. Probably only uh, one more stop and then I'll check into the Airbnb in Omaha and then head to the casino. So in a stop I'll think of uh, some great road trip story and I'll probably still have the cigar. Maybe, maybe not actually. And that'll be that. It's kind of windy, so I'm trying to block the wind off the camera with my body. That's why I'm using this view. Uh, I'm like two and a half hours from the Airbnb. I'm in central Iowa, stopped at a gas station right now. Uh, the water I just showed you, I'm pretty sure it was the Mississippi. I was, it was definitely the border of Illinois and Iowa. There weren't signs this time that said Mississippi River. There usually are, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will be very quick to tell me in the comments. Uh, that cigar is long gone, by the way, but it was a good one. And yeah, two and a half hours. I will show you when I get to the Airbnb. And uh, definitely some poker today, definitely some poker tomorrow. All right, made my last turn. Got about two hours left on I-80. The Airbnb is in Omaha, and then I will get to Council Bluffs, get some poker in. It is the next day, I actually forgot to film when I drove up, but I got to the Airbnb, smooth check-in last night, and then I went to play some poker. And if I remembered to film yesterday, the scene at the horseshoe would have been like this. At the casino, about to go play, and uh, I'll tell you my results afterwards. So it would have looked something like that. Uh, results from last night, lost $12 in an hour, 42 minutes. Uh, not as crowded as I expected on a Friday evening. And my table wasn't all that great. I wasn't really looking to switch because I knew I wasn't gonna be there long. I was pretty tired right when I started anyway. So that's why I only played about two hours, but today I'm gonna get more than two hours in. And that's the end of day five. Day six tomorrow, I figured it'll be like uh, Atlantic City. My uh, layover day, if you will, in Council Bluffs. I'll give you all my Council Bluffs poker stats lifetime. Yeah, I got, I got it at the stadium.